Please rise. Holy God, we In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So today we do celebrate a feast day of St. Mary Magdalene. Uh, because it is a feast day, um, we will pray together the Gloria. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to enter the sacred mysteries. We do so by recalling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant we pray that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Song of Songs. The bride says, On my bed at night I sought him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. I will rise then and go about the city, 
In the streets and crossings, I will seek him whom my heart loves. I sought him, but I did not find him. The watchmen came upon me as they made their rounds of the city. Have you seen him whom my heart loves? I had hardly left them when I found him whom my heart loves. The word of the Lord. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you my flesh pines, and my soul thirsts, like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken my Lord and I don't know where they have laid him. When she said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not, not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. 
Saint Mary Magdalene was a person of great witness to Jesus's life and a great disciple of Jesus. She was a faithful disciple that was present at his crucifixion. We know that many other disciples ran away. In Mark's gospel, she was the first to witness to the risen Lord. Hence, she is called the Apostle of the Apostles. She, of course, accompanied Jesus in his ministry. Today, let us pray through the intercession of Saint Mary Magdalene that we may also proclaim the resurrection through our words, through our lives, and that we too, as Mary Magdalene did, we too may follow Jesus faithfully. For we recognize that we celebrate her today for being a great disciple. As we strive to be a faithful disciple of the Lord, let us ask the Lord's strength through these, our prayers. For all the pastors of the church, that they may never let the flock of Christ be scattered, but instead gather it to them in his name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For peace throughout the world, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are lost and seeking help spiritually, that they may find it in our community, let us pray to the Lord. For the teachers of our children, that they may impart knowledge and truth with conviction and responsibility, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ due to the pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who are sick and who are dying, and for those who have died, and for those names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for healing for Eleanor Reyes, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to strengthen us through these prayers as well as our brothers and sisters that we may follow you as your disciples. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me over from iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of Saint Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously, graciously accepted by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your rest until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse,
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. <clears throat> the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart, and I unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resolutely to Christ, the Master, her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to you. God. Immaculate.